Hey y'all, Olivia Hermosa from TikTok. If you like those true crimes and verified stories, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button to Petty Tupac TV. What up, though? Y'all already know how I go. Make sure you smash like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You did. You got the homie also on the phone, man. Can you tell them uh, who you are and um, how long you been in the county jail? Shit, man. I've been in the county jail for going on five years, man. Spending on ten, holding my head up, man. You know what I mean? Of course, they call me Oso, but you know my government is Corey Holmes. It, it is a a, a four-year stay in the county jail in the Wayne County Jail. Is that typical? That definitely ain't typical, man. That definitely ain't typical. Part of the thing that held me up so long is they didn't know what they was gonna do as far as um, the Wayne County court system. When COVID hit, so you know they use COVID to drag everything out and everybody case out. But typical stay in the county jail fighting cases like six months, a year, year and a half max. So four years, going on five years, I think is almost the longest somebody ever been in the Wayne County Jail fighting a criminal case. With, with, with that being said, what what is your typical day like? Is it a bunch of do? What's going like? What's going on? How do you pass time? Man, listen, ain't nothing to do in this motherfucker. Everything is like Groundhog Day, man. So to pass time, you gotta come up with some things to do on your own to keep your mind occupied, to make the day go by, to make the time go by. So a typical day, you know, we get up, you know. Guys in here, we talk a little shit, play a little chess, play a little cards, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Talk to each other about everybody's day, about everybody's case, or, 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 or what guys want to do when they get back out there, or what they was doing when they was out there. That's typically the day, man, so every day bleeds right into the next day. Do y'all have any recreational activities? There is no recreational activity right now. Ever since COVID happened, there has been no recreation whatsoever, man. Like, you don't leave your rock. Like, your rock is a small rock the size of a hallway, maybe uh, five yards, ten yards long, maybe four feet wide, man. So you just walk back and forth. That's what some guys doing right now, man. Walking back and forth, walking back and forth, walking the hole into the ground, man. But no recreation to speak of. We asked them about uh, reconvening recreation, but they ain't giving us no time limit or if they're going to or when they're going to or none of that. Wow. Is, is that even, you know, if, if that's even legal or not? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. But again, they blaming everything on COVID, man. When you ask them about, like, listen, can we get some recreation? They saying we switch staff, or they saying, listen, man, when we get the staff, we we'll do it, or like COVID, and we stopping it because of that. But I don't think it is, man. You know, guys are sitting around deteriorating, so you got to do what you got to do on your own accord to like keep the body up. Keep the mind up, keep the spirits up. You know. How how has that affected you mentally? Do you do you feel yourself? You, you might not be the same person you used to be. Do you call home and maybe your girlfriend or your brother say, "Man, you don't sound the same. Maybe something a little off. Anything like that going on?" Oh yeah, yeah. When I talk to people, somebody will get on the phone, and the first thing they say is, "Well, you sound like you're down a little bit. You sound like you and then when they notice, you know what I mean, you try to like pep up a little bit because you don't want some people to feel like this situation or your predicament is like beating you down mentally or emotionally because just like you be worried about them on the inside, I mean, you be worried about them on the outside, they be worried about you on the inside. Of course, like, we try to say we the strongest ever, but it, it gets to you a little bit mentally, but you still got to like try to stay ten toes and... And, and, and maintain your mental so I read books you know what I mean like I said we talk to each other like to try to keep each other up mentally and uh, emotionally and spiritually but of course it 
takes a toll, man, you know? If anybody say it doesn't, then they just ain't being 100, you know what I mean? Exactly. Especially for that uh, amount of time. That's crazy. Uh, a, a lot of people, they feel like, you know, it's just a rough, tough environment. Rough, tough environment. But y'all actually do help each other get to the day and help on legal cases and stuff like that, huh? Man, you've got to, man. Because, like, on some 100 shit, don't nobody want to see nobody doing no time, man. You know what I mean? Some people feel like that, like, a nigga did something, so he deserved to be here. But that nigga deserved to be here or not, you know what I mean? That ain't what they want to do. That ain't what they want to be, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For, for them out there, risk. So gotta, go ahead. So you got to try to help who you can help, you know what I mean? And do what you can do and, like, help each other, like, stay solid, keep your head up and shit, you know what I mean? If not, then everybody be in here going crazy and motherfuckers taking their frustrations and their anger and they, and they resentment out on everybody else, you know? Mm-hmm. We all fighting cases and shit right now, so... Ain't no need to be fighting each other and shit. So we just try to try to help. You know what I mean? As much as a nigga can. You know. Exactly. For the people that this never, they never been there at risk, young kid. Can you, can you please describe that food in there, like the trays that they serve you three times a day? Can you describe that to me? <laughs> There's no describing it, man. Sometimes you don't even know what you get, man. Shit, you can't describe something that you ain't never seen. You, know? <laughs> you get it sometimes, and you like what? The so bad, how important is commissary like the, the stuff that you can actually purchase? Listen, without commissary you basically like almost not surviving, man. You just holding on basically. You just stomaching what you can stomach when they serve the meals, man. So commissary is extremely important, man. And without a support system, you ain't getting commissary, man. But commissary is what keep us, keep most of us like above water. Right. Because when you have a meal that you can't stomach, you use commissary to suffice, you know? Man. And commissary is limited. You know niggas eating booze and noodles and shit, you know? Right. Zoom zooms and wham whams, as we call it. So, yeah, so. That's like Catch 22 in and of itself. Because on commissary, you know, it's like gas station shit, you know? So a guy got to make what he can out of the gas station. Shit. So a guy come in here healthy, no health issues. But with the commissary diet, you know, you can possibly develop high blood pressure because you eat noodles and chips all day, and that shit full of sodium and salt. So you got to be careful with that. 